Hello beautiful Scorpio and welcome to my spiritual oasis. Here weary souls come to find inner wisdom and peace. Today I am doing an almost personal um, message for you. Healing Oasis message. Channeling from your future self. From your higher self. So this reading is based off of your areas of life reading for the month so you can go ahead and check that video out if you want more context but that reading was so powerful all of the cards were working together to energetically suggest that you are stepping into your power and by this i mean the power of mars Mars, I follow ancient astrology, and Mars is the natural ruler of Scorpio energy. It's the divine, Scorpio is the divine feminine uh, side of Mars that faces away from the sun. It's still hot and intense, like its companion Aries, but internally, because it's the divine feminine, that watery energy, so on the inside, the inwardly strong, intense Mars energy. And with volcanoes, keyword power guiding your message for your areas of life this week, it just felt like you were stepping into that power, the power of Mars, the power of desire and intention and pushing and asserting yourself into your dreams and into your destiny. So that is what our message is going to be about. It's really just meant to be of an empowering, enlightening continuation of your areas of life message, again, channeled from your higher self. So before I get into the reading, well, I should say as I'm shuffling out your guiding energy, which is from our Star Dragon um, Oracle cards, very fiery and powerful. I can't wait to uh, see what message the dragons have for you today. Um, I would love to invite you to join the Kindred family by subscribing to my YouTube channel. Drop a comment down below if something resonates with you. Let me know if this message of power, stepping into your own, cl like claiming or even reclaiming who you are, returning to what feels true and right to you and just being powerful and intense as we Scorpios can be. Let me know down in the comments below. All right. What message do you have for Scorpio today? What powerful message do you have for Scorpio? Powerful message for Scorpio. Transcendence. Achieving success. I feel like the primary message here is that you have the power, the stuff that it takes to achieve success in all areas of your life that you are looking for success. Not this one yet, this one. Okay, we're gonna get a moon oracle card for you as well because you are a divine feminine inwardly strong a mysteriously sensual sign what message does the moon goddess have for scorpio today what message do we have for scorpio today transcend transcendence you're moving forward especially if you've been feeling like you're stuck in a rut or plateaued um, there definitely have been things working in the background in your favor. All of your work and effort has not gone unnoticed, has not been in vain. Um, it's just taking a while for the, um, the fruit to come to the light, if you will. Waxing Gibeus 4, will. It's going to take will, willpower to transcend. I would like to note your power numbers on this card, the number 13, which correlates to the, the death card in tarot, which is your power card, which is our power card, I should say. Um, I love a good old death that shows up in a reading. It just brings joy to my heart. Okay. Will. Number 13 also reduces down to the number four. And the number four is our grounding number, grounded energy, um, stable energy, consistent energy. 
And 13 is a karmic number. And the number 13 really talks about patience and how patience is a virtue. That discipline is freedom. Discipline is equal to freedom. Though it may seem on the outside um, to be in opposition, it's actually not. Like setting that schedule, um, you know, coming up with a routine or a way to attack a problem is, is discipline. Being consistent, persistent, waking up every single day and taking one step a one breath towards your goal and just being um intentional and like i'm just seeing the knight of pentacles showing up right now okay let's go ahead and get our two i'm seeing the knight of pentacles that consistent even though it feels monotonous and it feels uh, frustrating just because our world moves so fast um, it's actually empowering and freeing it's freeing to be able to do what you enjoy doing and what you love doing for a living <laughs> but it's probably going to take more will more effort more intensity more persistence more consistency um to see that that truth come to light magician all right you're making things happen i love seeing the magician show up for you Let's get another tarot message. Okay, we had Hangman. If you have Pisces in your birth chart, use your Piscean um, sister energy here. But changing your perspective, it could also be like changing your perspective or points of view on how you are manifesting um, or what it takes to manifest. Like changing your viewpoint on what it takes to manifest what you're going after. It's almost like you're uh, thinking too hard about it is kind of what that's what's coming to mind here. The world, all right, um, the world is at your fingertips right now and I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it, this, um, I say teetering on the edge of greatness, that sounds weird, but it's, <laughs> it's just like, it's You've probably been feeling this incredible change happening. I want you to note that we've got to, mm -hmm, we've got all major arcana here. So big energy, none of this piddly paddly stuff happening right now. Big things are happening. Transcendence. And I also feel like there's a message that you have all the tools that you need. You have the ability to change perspective. You have the... Um, all of the tools that you need to manifest. Um, you have everything that you need to achieve what you're going after. And it might seem scary because, well, you know, people mistake us for fire because we are really intense and passionate. And volcanoes are brewing under the surface of the earth for a long, long time before anybody even knows anything is going on. When the volcano erupts, that's the very end of the cycle. <laughs> when you actually see the fruit of all of the collection of lava or magma, I guess at that point, magma has been going on over the years, over time, and nobody knows. It's under the surface. It's quiet. And then there's some sort of a catalyst that sets these things into motion. So, you know, let me know down below in the comments and let me know what your catalyst is. What's your catalyst that's setting all of this into motion that kind of woke, has uh, awakened the dragon within that's, you know, hiding under the mountain. And I don't know, I'm being very um, Lord of the Rings right now. But anyways. <laughs> go ahead and add a couple more messages get laser focused I love that that showed up for you um there are so many distractions there are so many potential distractions out there for all of us and so I feel like this get laser focused is just really encouraging you like yes you have a lot of power and a lot of energy and I do feel like the universe is 
putting in on this and is providing support for this, but you have to focus it properly or it will be wasted. So get focused, remove distractions. See the magic, I feel like it's just a strong reminder that you are magic. You don't conjure it, you don't call it forth from some beyond. You are the magic. You're it. You are the magic. You are the key um, to everything that you want, to everything that you desire. You are powerful beyond belief. You're pow powerful beyond even your knowing or understanding. And that power requires you to manage it appropriately to respect it and to manage it appropriately um so let's go ahead and get a final message oh okay yeah one fly. oh we got a flyer here oh this is for you this is again this is a higher self reading and this is exactly for you, Scorpio. Go with the flow. Your water. At the end of the day, yes, you're, you have the, the, that intensity of fire, but at the end of the day, you are water. Go with the flow. Relax and trust. Accept what is happening. Your superpower is the ability to release. That's why death, death is your card. Because death is about releasing control over life. You have no control over life. Death is always a part of the life cycle process. Death will come and come and come until she comes a final time. And that's to take us wherever we go after this, I don't know. Um, but the point is, is that you are fiery conceptually, but you're water at the end of the day. Your element is water and flowing releasing that control, releasing that need to hold on and just being, being in your power, living in your power, guiding your energy, focusing your energy on what and where you wanna go. The world is at your fingertips. You have all the tools you need, my beautiful Scorpios. This is the message I've channeled for you today. I certainly hope this was as empowering for you as it was for me. If something resonated, do drop a comment down below, click like, subscribe, and I'll see you in a coin message. Bye.